Hello, ActorSage here on the Sage channel. And today I'm on a lovely little green earth and I have a few rovers I'd like to show to you. Some of which happen to fly. Now, the design you see before you, this is my first rover. It's actually supposed to be remote control, but this was just a test bed I had. And you'll notice right away that it is an odd design with the reactor stuck in the middle. No real piping, it's not really survival ready. The future versions have antennas at the back and front. I'll show you those in a second. I'd just like to show you just the basic rover that I built here. And I built the body and everything like this because my original idea was for all of the rovers to be able to fly. And my idea on this one was going to be that, well, where these wheels are, on the ends of the wheels, you used to be able to put blocks like this. You used to be able to click and put a block. I could have sworn that was the fact. That was the case, I should say. Well, unfortunately, you appear not to be able to do that anymore. Maybe you could do it on the inside or on the sides. Nope, none of that. So, unfortunately, this rover design I had here ended up just being a rover. Like I said, I wanted thrusters on those so it would be able to actually thrust itself with those in theory. And then I could press W and it would spin around and... I don't know, maybe just keep itself aloft in a very odd way. And then I could turn like this, and in theory, the thrusters keeping it being turned like that might actually cause the ship to turn as well. Well, since I couldn't put thrusters on those, I ended up pretty much abandoning this rover altogether. I did go ahead and finish up an automated version, which I'll simply park this one right here and show you the automated version just for posterity's sake. So you can see here, same damn thing, just got a the center reactor section, antenna at the back, and remote control block, and camera at the front. We're going to go ahead and do our shift K. We can see a uh, remote rover. There we go. And we can control it. Handles pretty much the same as the one we were just driving. Yep, that's that. It was actually originally even supposed to have the wheels the other way around, but it hit the ground, so I flipped it over and it works best this way. There we go. That's the gist of that. Now onto the more interesting things, the flying rovers that I built. And uh, we can, of course, remote control it and use the camera to guide ourselves. Of course, that greater speed is going to get harder and harder to control. We can't really see our wheels too easily, so sooner or later that's going to happen! And it actually disconnected us. You can see some wreckage way, way over there. If I was to go ahead and actually fly over to it really quickly, we can actually just see, for the heck of it, what happened to our vehicle. Oh, you can see some wheels are still rolling off in the distance. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. It's still going! <laughs> that is pretty funny. I wonder how long that will go. It's already gone for quite a while. We're almost a thousand meters away from home. We're probably pretty, yeah, we're pretty far away, I'd say, from... It's actually almost turning, too. Oh, God, it's reminding me of the movie Rubber now. Uh, let's get away from it before dark energies control us. Or make something terrible happen, I should say. Uh, and here's our rover itself. It's a nice little spin crash. Oh, boy. Um. Yep. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Not really anything to see. So, as I said, now on to the more interesting things. Um, and here we go. That's a bit different, ain't it? I'm sure you might have actually seen similar things to this before. So, I've gone ahead and taken the base body of the rover and installed two thrusters facing towards us, two facing away from us, so you can't see on the other side, two for forward and backwards, and four for lift. And originally I wasn't going to have any for lift, but I found, well, how am I going to control elevation up and down if all the thrusters that are going to be my lifting bodies are going to be the ones on the wheels? Haha, <laughs> the wheels. Air question mark, quote things, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, quotation marks. And you can see here I've taken large rotors and I've stuck these onto the vehicle. And so now I can actually demonstrate how this functions, simply enough, by doing a shift K, selecting the flying rover at 13 meters distance, selecting our remote control, taking control over it, and spacebar, and you see, just with those four thrusters, this thing can't lift itself up. But if I press the number three key, it turns on the thrusters on those wheels, the large rotors there, the advanced rotors. And you can see now, it'll actually be able to keep itself hovering. And we can actually go ahead and... Oh, no, that's forward. I want to go backwards right now. I got the thing facing us. So you can see, it'll actually hover. Pretty interesting. And it's very, very unique in the design in a lot of ways. And I can also go ahead and fly us forwards. And, of course, there... Well, here, it's just using those two dinky little forward thrusters to slowly propel itself upwards. We can, of course, use the space bar to also just go straight up, though. And that is much, much quicker. Very odd ship. Now, we can also go ahead and turn on those rotors. I have them set to sort of, well, almost swim through the air. So you can see here, we now have a flying rotor oddity. Um, and I can even go ahead and leave myself a control over it. And it'll still stay floating. 
These thrusters, even though they're spinning, every time a thruster faces downwards, it automatically tries to give enough thrust to keep itself aloft, and as such, it does so. So there you go. It's just flying on its own now, gently drifting. I think it'll eventually stop itself from moving using those side thrusters, but they're very, very weak. Uh, let's grab the flying rotor again, remote control it once again. I think we can keep control with the UI off yet. So we can press 2 and shut those rotors off at any time, toggle them on off, whatever we want to do. But we don't have to. As I said, they'll function just as well turned on. Uh, yeah, and that's my nifty, strange, odd flying vessel. And in fact, we could go ahead and disable inertial dampers. And you see it starts dropping but very slowly. It's just because when I disable inertial dampers, the only inertial dampers that do get shut off are just those four in the middle. Really, I could remove those and put some more on the end wheels, the wings or whatever you want to call them. They're almost like weird sails, you know, flying sails to keep the ship aloft. But uh, then I wouldn't actually be able to control my up and down as well. I'd need actually down thrusters to probably go down if I had so many excess thrusters to the sides. Pretty nifty. I like this ship a lot, and I'm very, very happy with it, even though it is quite the oddity. And of course, we could use the camera again and control it here. You see, it's a very strange craft. Oh, very, very strange craft. Oh no! Pressing T completely disabled my remote control over it. What a piece of flim. There we go. Yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, Yeah, I like it. It's actually very, very alien. And we can also do some very strange things like that. It'll stay mostly up. If we go completely upwards, I think we'll probably lose... Yeah, we'll start to fall. Because, of course, it does need those four little thrusters that we're facing down on the main body. Oh, Lord God. Help. Help. Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, it saved itself. <laughs> yeah, a bit finicky. And, of course, if you wanted to, you could turn it into just a standard rover. Um, flying rover. Remote control once again. Bring it down gently enough. I'm just holding C. Uh, let up a little bit. Sorry, I just love the smoke effect that you get on the ground there as the thrusters go by. It's almost like it's supposed to be harvesting crops or something amazing like that. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and turn off the thrusters. Boom! And so now you can see here, we'll even disable inertial damper so those other ones shouldn't be firing. We now have a pretty standard rover, and we can use the arrow keys, which will slowly, slowly try to turn the whole thing moving a gyroscope, or use the mouse. And the gyroscopes on board will very, very slowly turn it. So yeah, you have a land vehicle as well, if you'd like to turn it into a very, very slow crawling vehicle <laughs> with thrusters on it. That can, at any moment, if it feels like it wishes to, just go ahead and, uh, well, fly away. <laughs> very odd isn't it uh so yeah that was that uh, that was my little test bit i did go ahead and build one more machine i'm going to show you guys i'm going to do an f8 and you can see now my construction yard that i had up in the atmosphere where i had my earlier versions and i continued to tweak and edit and everything until i ended up with uh, the versions i got now you can even see i had a few different wheels as you might like to call them uh before i finally ended up having just one I'm like frack it put a bunch of thrusters on there it's not working because these of course it just it sat on the ground it didn't ever take off yeah, uh, and then the finished version here, of course, but then I built this. <laughs> this very, very odd flying craft. This isn't supposed to be a rover, so, oh, odd rovers, what, not a rover, whatever. Yeah, I built this. This is actually a slightly unfinished version. I got the more finished version here. It needed, as well, a few extra thrusters I just stuck into the body so I can control its elevation, as well as, of course, it needed another six thrusters just to give it some more lift, and I didn't feel like sticking them onto the end here, which I, of course, could have. And you also get this pretty cool sight down the middle. But this thing actually works in atmosphere too, so just those thrusters in the middle probably would not, well, wouldn't keep this big heavy thing aloft, but if we go back down to the planet and paste it in, the center column of thrusters there is indeed enough to keep it floating. They're all firing just a little tiny bit enough to keep it up. And we actually have a rotor button here. <laughs> you can see when we turn it on, it turns the ship a little bit, but I can actually, holding E, correct that. And we can actually fly around with our large two thrusters. So this is, um, yeah, another wonderful oddity that you can actually fly around. And watch this. If I turn, you can see the thrusters attempt to stop our momentum. Those big center spinning thrusters. They're just like, nope, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop spinning. Stop going the other way. We'll stop you. <laughs> I love it. It's a very, very odd design, of course. Also, I should point out that if you get going too fast, you might know if you've paid it into the patch notes in the game that, well, if you get going to a certain speed the rotors will actually lock. So you can see here the rotors have locked themselves. And if I turn here... Ah! <laughs> the ship pulled itself upwards there, by the way. I didn't do that. If um, they come back online once you drop down to a set speed, which is pretty cool. 
it's um uh, I'm very happy with this oddity I've created. It's very odd. Some more work and it could be nicer. Um of course I wanted to originally build like a big hefty floating ship, but it occurred to me if I'm going to build something that's very, very oh come on, slow up a little bit. There we go. If you get up to like a uh, 98 or so, or 99 meters per second, that's when it locks. There. So we can't we just gotta make sure we don't get up to that speed, eh? Now, I can actually shut off my inertial dampeners, but of course, like before we start to fall. And you can even see the numbers there straight ahead. Ah! Oh no, come on. If I keep aiming upwards, it looks like we're alright, because it just tries to keep us up floating. But it's a bit difficult, you gotta keep aiming upwards, and if I stop doing it, continuing to aim higher, and let go, we start to go downwards. Which is of course bad. And I can of course th fire the thrusters, and <laughs> this big strange spinny thing will do everything it can to keep this ship uh, hovering. And stop it from drifting, of course, if I turn. Alrighty guys, that's that. I just felt like sharing these oddities I'd put together. Um, yeah, my original plan completely bit the dust, but I, it led to a few other strange things. Dang it, we reached that high speed again. <laughs> and of course right now I have my inertial dampener shut off, so... What the hell is going on? Where's my frame rate? What? What's happening? Why have I lost all frame rate? Oh, I have... It's, I'm sorry, it probably is painful to watch, but... I, what's happening? Inertial dampener's back on. Why is this happening? This... God... What? Okay, let's go on spectator. We still have, like, no frames up here. What in the... Why? Oh, God. And it's not loading the planet, but it's, we're at one frame per second. Zero frame. Okay, guys, thanks a bunch for watching. I played with this for probably an hour when I first built it without issues, so I don't know why this just happened. I felt like sharing these things, but apparently they don't like me. Here, I'll shut off the rotors. Will that fix it? I shut down the rotors. It's, it's not helping it much, is it? It's, it's like 5, 10, 9, 11, 8, 4. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you a bunch for watching. Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to let it crash at this point. Um, my god, the frame rate's so laggy, it almost feels like you're going faster, too. Oh, right, I'm in the cockpit, so it's going to spit us out, is it? Oh, nope, there goes a limb. There goes, we're just skidding along the ground. Because we're much lighter now, so we're probably never going to crash. The ship's just going to hover forever, since we've actually lost a lot of weight. Great. Okay, well, thanks a bunch for watching, guys. Um, no idea why the frame rate just decided to give me a big middle finger there. It did. Very annoying. Well, I'll see you guys and gals next time. Ta-ta. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, plenty of things that go wrong. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna suddenly uh, drop my frame rate to two, if you don't mind. <laughs> Fuck you!